we're going to open up a game in Construct. If you've never opened a game before, we're going to show you that. Then we're going to save the game into our Google Drive, our shared folder so our teammates can see it. And then we're going to export the game as an HTML5 folder file. And then we're going to take that file and we're going to upload it to our itch page and embed it so it's playable. So this is the complete workflow for this class. All right, so if you're stuck in any one of those steps, feel free to fast forward to the right part you need to get to. So first off, when you're learning Construct, you have different examples over here that you can open up. And so what I recommend is that some of the beginner examples are really fun to play around with. And I'm going to use one that we used before, and I'm going to go in and open up the Ghost Shooter tutorial because it's already a pre-built game. And if I hit play, I'm going to see that the game actually functions. And you know, I can then go ahead and modify. Well, here it is. Wait for the oh, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, it works. Okay. Now let's save this. First off, I go to Menu, Projects, Save As. Oop, hold on. <laughs> Save as to the cloud. And if I'm not logged into my Googly account, I'll log into my Googly account. And I'll use the school district Google account. And I'm going to navigate to the shared folder that I've set up for my team. Now, in my class, I've made a shared folder for every team just because I wanted to make sure that it made sense and that I can see the team folders as well. So my folder structure is different than yours because I have a lot more folders probably. So I go in here and I'm going to go into uh, the game folder. Where is it? I always have a hard time finding that. Here's the game folder. Ooh, and I'll, I'll pick fourth period. And I created a team for team 20 right there. And now I'm going to save. So go shooter 3CP. Now I could um, name it what I want and I'm going to save it. Now let's go take a look and make sure that I actually went there. So here's our shared folders and uh, for each team. And I'm gonna go into my folder here and oh, there it is. Now anybody, you can see here, it's shared with anybody in the class. So somebody else could open this up and continue working on it. So I just have to communicate with my team on who's gonna work on it, who's doing what, and make sure they save it. Now speaking of saving it, if I make a change, you'll see right here that this turns black. When I push it, it turns gray, that means it's updated. I make a change, turns black, I hit save, I update. Now if I go back to my folder here, I'm going to see that the file gets updated every time I update it from here. If I don't have the file open, I can go into editor.construct.net and I can open the project. I click on cloud and I navigate to, wait for it, okay, I go back into my, so I'm already logged on. If not, I'd have to log back into my googly. And uh, uh, when I say googly, I mean Google. I just want to make sure that's clear. <laughs> Double click here. And again, I'm going for my folder structure. I have a game folder. And uh, I always scroll past it at least once. Fourth period. And I'm going to go into Hadoop. And there it is. And I click open and wait for it. I'm back and I can continue working. OK, now that's the first phase. Opening something, saving it to the proper place then sharing it with our team so that anybody could open it and work on it. The next piece is how do we export out our current build so that we can play it on itch? Go to menu, go to projects, and click on export. When you get to this screen, it gives you numerous options. We are going to click on HTML5, then click next. Don't worry about these right now. We're just going to keep moving. They are good options, but at this point, we have such a basic game, it's not necessary. And right here, it says export is finished. I click here, and it's going to ask to download. I'm going to put it on my desktop. Now, over on my desktop right here, you can see that it downloaded the zip file. I'm going to click OK on this. I have what I need. Now I go over to my itch page. So this page was created for my team, and it's already published, ready to go. It doesn't have anything on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Edit Game, and I'm going to scroll down here. And I, you know, of course, can start filling this information out. But the most crucial things that I need to do to get the play, uh, game playable is click here, make sure it says HTML, uh, no payments, we don't make money off our school stuff, and then we click Uploads. And I'm going to go find my Ghost Shooter, and I'm going to click Open. 
I wait for the zip to do its thing. And then the last and most important step here is to make sure that it's playable in the browser. Once I've done that, I can scroll down to the bottom and I can hit save and it will be playable. Now there's a bunch more stuff on this page that I can do, but this is the basics. And to test this, I want to click up here and there it is. It's embedded. When I hit play, I can then play the game and I can share it with other people that they can play it and give me feedback and so on. And so let's just make sure it functions. There it goes. So there you go. That is the process. Now in class, we track that by right here. So here's a link to that page we were just on. And each person has a link to their page so that we can play each other's games and give feedback. That's pretty much the whole workflow for the class. And I wanted you to know that and I'm going to in have this available to you so if you ever get stuck feel free to use this as a reference. Alright, thanks for watching.